there certainly is a lot of expectation. So we just do exactly what we can do to be our best. And whoever kind of shows up on the day, is, it is what it is. And we just hope to beat them. We are here uh, in the in the vehicle on our way to uh, Pure Muscle and Fitness in Burlington. I've got my pre-workout meal in, and this morning I took my photos for the coach Dorian and he just surprised me with a high day today. Because it is leg day, we're gonna smash it, and uh, it's a high day, so every meal has more carbs, more food, and meal five is replaced with a cheat meal five, guys. Absolutely zero chance of straying away from the plan at this point. Um, I would say there'd be zero chance from, you know, 12 to 16 weeks, depending on what your coach wants you to do. But uh, like I've been dieting now for 24 weeks um, and it's been the best trip that I've ever done because it's been so consistent and it's been so like slow, the changes have been so slow that I feel like my body's been able to respond the best. People, you know, they, they like to put their hood on, they like to put their headphones in, they go in the gym, they train themselves, and they love that. Uh, for me, I really like feeding off people's energy, and I like to train with a partner. I like to be able to push him to all hell. I like to, like, destroy him, and then I have to do the same set, or I go crazy, and he has to go crazy. Good set, man. Going to the Olympia was an amazing experience. It was a dream of mine, and it's everything I wanted to do. But after I realized that the category just wasn't for me, that I needed to let my body continue to grow, and I needed to fill up my frame, and I just looked much better that way. After a few weeks, I had got speak, speaking to my friend Dorian Hamilton, and then we started putting a plan together to, to start adding some size. I had a lot of travel early 2019, and um, I wasn't able to have a full off season, but I, from pretty much from 30 weeks out to, to this competition, I've been able to be like flawless, like not missing a single meal, uh, not missing training, getting my sleep, everything, getting my therapy weekly. Um, so it's been, it's been great. And I'm really excited to do this show, Romania Pro, and, and not yet released, I'm gonna be doing the Japan Pro uh, two weeks later. So there's two chances for me to get qualified for the Mr. Olympia 2020. And that would be my goal uh, in, the, in the open. Last Wednesday, we did the same day we're doing today. And today we're two pounds lighter than we were last Wednesday. Yeah. And the week before, but you dropped three pounds. Yeah. In between. Oh, you lost yeah. weight from the gym. Three, yes. Three, pounds. three freaking pounds. Towels are my Yeah. Like, you know, Kit Kats. Like, yeah, everyone's body gets a different group. Kit Kats. Yeah, yeah Kit Kats. Kit Kats, yeah, for right. sure. <laughs> All right, guys, we're on the road. Coming back from Burlington from that big, crazy leg day. And I've got my 
meal here. We're stopping at Selby so Vic can get a salad or something to eat. And I've got my meal, so I've got uh, six, uh, six ounces of chicken and 250 grams of white rice. And I need an, a honey crisp apple, so I actually forgot my apple. We're gonna hit up this Sobeys and get one. Honey crisp. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you should try to know. I literally, I love all my meals. Like, I don't know. I know I'm four weeks out, so kind of probably the same for everybody, but I think one reason I've been able to add size and stuff in the off season and uh, in bodybuilding in general is because like, I love food. I'm a huge, I'm a huge foodie. So like, I can eat. I can eat every three hours, I can eat this. No problem. Um, 300 grams of rice, six ounces, six to eight ounces of meat, protein, whatever it is. Every two and a half, three hours, no problem. I love food. We made it. It's cheat meal time. We got my donuts from homies. <laughs> some other little snacks. We're gonna get some hamburgers and fries. And, uh, this is my favorite place ever. <laughs> hey, how you doing? You know, hey. <laughs> oh man, I'm so hungry. Even though you're on prep and you're in this like robotic mode, there's nothing better than going out with a night with a bunch of friends, having some food. The food's only as good as the as the group you got with you too. I find you know. So it's like we uh, we go out, we get our we get our uh, we actually train first with my friends. Uh, we hit legs and then we go over to Five Guys, we get our food, then we go get our dessert and we just have a great time, like there, there, there's nothing better than that. Can I order uh, two hamburgers? Yeah. Um, I'll get uh, light mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, um, ketchup, onions, relish, and uh, barbecue sauce. Same, same toppings on both, yeah. And then a large fries, just the regular ones, and a large drink. The last couple times the buns have been kind of cold, and it's just a weird like thing when you bite into the hamburger and the buns are cold. So I'm gonna ask the guys today if they could heat the buns up before putting them on. Thank you, man. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get it. Yo, I'm so hungry right now, like, it's stupid. We worked, we worked hard today during nights. Here we go. Bun is warm, we're good to go. Sprinkle a little bit around a little bit. Yeah, I trust Dorian 100 percent Like it just shows that we've been we've been really like on point since probably 24 weeks out. Have not eaten one meal off of the plan that we've created, uh, that he's created for me. And so we know what happens, you know, when we eat like this. I kind of just go by feel, like how my stomach's feeling. Right now, like, it's still, I can just feel, it still feels really flat, not bloated at all. So um, I'm in the safe zone. I don't ever eat to the point where I feel disgusting and like, like my stomach's sticking out. Cause that's, I think, abuse over time. I want to be in this sport for a long time and I want my waist to stay small. So I don't, I don't abuse and, and eat like crazy. You just got to cap it off, man. And, and just uh, serve it as a purpose. And, and move on. Like my meal six is a, is a clean meal after this. So if I go and eat too much too longer after this, I'm not gonna want that meal at all and then I'm off the plan. So there's no room for uh, negotiations or, or little alternatives at this point. We just gotta uh, eat on the plan and, and make it happen. The circle that you put yourself around is it's huge. 
So if you're gonna put yourself in a circle of like-minded people, people that want you to succeed, not people that are gonna pull from you. And um, I, I definitely have, you know, my wife Victoria, uh, when we first got together, she was competing, I was competing. Uh, she would push me and there's a lot of mental battles, you know, like it's not, this is not an easy sport mentally. As much as it is physical, it's very, very mental. You definitely need some people in your corner that want you to succeed and that are going to push you to be your best.